What's up, Michael here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can collaborate with a JavaScript developer in your Webflow project without having to both be logged in at the same time. I'm going to show you how your JavaScript developer can write the code outside of Webflow, but as they progress and work on the code, the code's automatically going to be updated inside of Webflow and they don't even have to log in. So how I learned this is one time I was talking with an agency owner and they did a lot more JavaScript than we did. We didn't really do much custom JavaScript in Webflow at the time. And they mentioned how their JavaScript developer wouldn't even be in Webflow. He'd write the code outside of Webflow. And as he would write the code, the code would automatically get updated inside of Webflow because they were using a CDN. Now don't get scared if you don't know what that is. I'm gonna show you exactly how to go about this and what you'll need. But if any of this doesn't make sense, show this video to your JavaScript developer and they'll most likely know what all this stuff means. So what the overall process looks like is your JavaScript developer is gonna write the code on his own machine using whatever code editor they like. They are going to upload their code to NPM or GitHub. In this example, I'm using NPM. And then you're gonna use JS Deliver to basically deliver the code from NPM into Webflow using a simple link. Once that link is in Webflow, your JavaScript developer doesn't even need to log in at all and they can write the code. So JS Deliver is completely free. You don't even need to sign up for it. However, you will need an NPM account or a GitHub account. I'm not gonna show you how to set those up. They're pretty straightforward. So once you have NPM or GitHub installed and set up on your machine and you have a file on your computer with all the code in there ready to go, we can get started. So first thing is we need to upload the code to NPM. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my code editor. For this example, we are gonna be using this simple piece of code right here. Basically what it does is after someone submits a form in Webflow, it's gonna use the name that they use to fill out the form, use their name, and it is gonna spit out a success message using their name. Make it a little bit more personal. So what you're gonna do is in the terminal, navigate to wherever this folder is, and then you're gonna to want to type in npm init for initialize. What it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you for a few things like your package name, things like that. I'm just gonna keep all this default and go down through. Okay, this is okay, yes. So now we have initialized npm in this folder. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in npm login to log you into npm. So for this, it's gonna open npm in the browser. Let me log in, and then we're gonna come back to the terminal. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so I'm successfully logged into npm. The last thing we have to do is simply type in npm publish. So now we are publishing it to npm. So we didn't get no error message, so now we know it's successful. We can head over to npm and and go to our packages and you can see we have thank a user by name dash js and that is what the file name was so it has uploaded successfully what we're going to do is we're going to open up this package in npm and then while that's doing that we're going to go over to js deliver and you can see we have three options npm github or wordpress like i said i'm using npm if you are using github the process is is pretty much the exact same way you're just going to click on github so under npm i'm going to choose this top link right here i'm just going to copy it and in a new tab i'm going to paste it but i'm not going to hit enter yet because we need to change this link basically what we need to change is we need to change the package name with the name of our package we need to specify the version and then we need to state which file we're wanting to use in the package. But in our case, there's only one JavaScript file and that is main.js. So now what you're gonna do is head back to your NPM package and copy the package name. And we're gonna go over to this link, replace the package name with our package name. And then for the version, you can specify a very specific version if you want to. But what we want is we want this link to always pull in the most latest version of the JavaScript file that our JavaScript developer is working on for this specific example. So all you have to do is type in latest. And then for the file name, you're going to want to specify the specific JavaScript file you're referencing. In this case, we just named it main.js and then click on enter. If you did everything successful, you should see an, an exact copy of your code that is in your code editor. If you do, perfect, everything's successful. We can copy this link now, head over to Webflow, and on this page that we want to include the code, you want to go to your page settings, scroll down, go to the body, 
tag and then we need to put this link within some script tags so we're going to type in script and then src for source and then within quotes we're going to paste this link and then what we're going to do is we're going to end it with an ending script tag and click on save and now the code is successfully being imported into webflow and now we can finish setting up this code in webflow so basically for this code there's just three ids i need so form button i need to put as an id for the form button i'm just going to paste that in there and then username, I need to put on the username field, paste that in the ID, and then user message, where we're going to insert the user's name. So I'm gonna to go to the success message, thanks for reaching out, name, and then I'm gonna wrap name in span, and then I'm just gonna add the ID to that span, save that, and then we're going to publish. So as you can see, I didn't write any other code inside of Webflow, all we are doing is importing this code using npm and js deliver. So we're gonna open this up into a new tab. Here's the form, we're going to fill it out. Michael, my email, submit. And it says, thanks for reaching out, Michael. So the code is working perfectly. If you've ever used any other tools in the past, like FinSuite attributes or something like that, they always give you that link to paste in, in your page settings. This is all that is happening in the background. They are using npm to store the code and they're using js deliver to deliver the code to your site. So that was it, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to them. Also, we are a Webflow development agency. So if you do need help with Webflow development or consulting, we help tech companies with that all the time. There are links in the description where you can check that out.